Now, in this video of HTML, we will see how to add images in your web pages. Basically, images are a very easy and common way to make your web page more expressive and attractive. So, images play a very important role in your web development. So, let's see what all options are available, what all attributes are available with the IMG tag which will help us in adding the images. So, let's see a practical implementation of adding the images in your website. So, before starting by putting the image on the web page, let's see where my images are actually located. So, here in the E drive in the folder called HTTP pages, I have created my web page called first.html and right here in the same folder, I have a directory with the name images, which is containing a couple of images that is the html.jpg and logo.png. So, here in this example, I'll try to put this logo.png in the web page. So now for doing that let's come to the notepad plus plus and here I'll put the tag called IMG. So here you can see IMG SRC. So SRC is the source so here I will tell you the location that images that's the name of the directory. Here I am passing the relative path and that is actually the good practice. So just try to put all the related documents, images in the same location where you are putting your web pages. So when you will move your web page, it will all move together. So inside images, I have an image called logo.png. For any reason, maybe for the network issue or maybe any issue, if the image is unable to get loaded, then in that particular case, the alt means the alternate text will be there. For now, I don't want any border for my image. So that's why I have put border is equal to zero and it will be aligned left. So let's save these changes and come to the browser. When I'll refresh, here you can see the image is being displayed. If I'll make some changes in the border, so you can see the border will appear around the image. And similarly, for any reason, if the image is not getting loaded, so I have just changed the name, so the image will not come. So rather, this alternate text will be there in that location. All right. So let's get back to the image. Now, if you want to change the alignment, you can use the align left right by default it was left now so and now it is right along with that you can also use the attributes like height and width in order to make the changes in the height and width of the image by default the image will come in its default size so i want height to be 50 pixel and width to be 100 pixel all right so let's refresh it and here you can see the size of this particular image is altered. So for now, I'm just using this image for the presentation purpose. Later, as per the requirement, we can also make it hyperlink. But we will discuss all those things in our coming videos for the hyperlinks. For now, this is how you can add images to your web page. 